we could be facing the possibility of Roe being overturned and abortion going back to the states, in which case state marches will become center stage. And I think that's what is so important about this Connecticut March for Life. Many March for Life team members wanted to come to this very special inaugural Connecticut March for Life. The people that I've met today, the schools I've seen, the young students and the sisters, you're making a difference in this state. Good things are going to continue to happen. It's our duty as Catholics to protect those who cannot protect themselves. The State March for Life in Connecticut is an extension of our national effort. We're able to bring it down to a regional level and bring it to people's doorsteps. It's really fantastic to see people from across the, the state. They're enthusiastic, they organize buses, they came in large groups. This demonstrates to the population of the state that there are a lot of people that are very pro-life. Everybody is here because they have a deep charity for all life. It really starts the conversation of the importance of life from conception to natural death. We're going to rally behind me on the steps of the Capitol and then we're going to march around Bushnell Park. The headquarters of the Knights of Columbus is right here where we were founded in Connecticut. We felt it was important to bring out a strong presence. Here's a group of people who are doing everything they can to help those in need. If it's a march for life or feeding the homeless. You have young women that are pregnant, they don't know what to do, they kind of feel like they're on their own. And something like this can bring more information to people like that. Our country is really at a crossroads for life, so it's important to come before our lawmakers to express to them our solidarity with the most vulnerable in our culture. This really is a tremendous moral issue and one that should engage each and every person of goodwill. This will be a good initiative that will grow in bringing people to appreciate the importance of right to life in our state of Connecticut. The Brotherhood of the Knights of Columbus really helps encourage men to be the men they need to be to help transform society. Throughout the organization, it really attracts the best that Catholic men have to offer. Standing for the unborn, standing for life, I think that is what's attractive to the young Catholic man, but every Catholic.